All right, y'all, I'm still in Orlando and I'm hitting up a place called Palacio Chino, which is a Puerto Rican Chinese spot. Looks great, let's check them out. Hola, como estas? Invite them, invite them over here. Yeah, tell them to come over. Whenever you guys are in the Kissimmee area, yeah, come check them out. Yeah, we're in the Orlando area, close by Kissimmee, just stop by and check it out. So, so what made you do Puerto Rican and Chinese? Because this area is all Puerto Ricans. Okay. We, we've been here 24 years ago. And it's all Puerto Ricans. And now our customers, 70% are Puerto Ricans. So. Yeah, it's, it's almost like we have mixed, right? The second population that come in here is Venezuela. Mm. Because they moved down here like three years ago. Because of the problem uh, with their country. So our number one customer is the Puerto Rican. We've been here 24 years. Without a Puerto Rican, we, we won't survive because we cook the way they want it. So how do you want it? Tell like about. the rice, we don't put vegetable at all. And we sell the plantain. It's fresh. We, we buy it every day, we get a cut. And we do like the boneless ribs, the pepper steak, the fried chicken, we, we marinate it. Just like in their country. Okay. But the rice we cook is it's totally different from the Chinese restaurant. We cook in a big wall. If you go to a Chinese restaurant, you go in a Chinese restaurant, they, pick, they cook in a big pot. They just push the button, they're done. But we gotta move those rice. I can't even do it right now, I'm too old to do it. That's why I hire all the young people back there and do yeah. it. Yeah, I can't do it anymore. So did you, did you have a place in Puerto Rico too? Or? No, my, my partner used to live in Puerto Rico. I got two partners. Mm -hmm. One of them married to the Dominican. The other one married to the Puerto Rican. They know the style, they worked there for like six, seven years. So they come up here, they know all the Puerto Ricans here. That's why still nowadays, our target is the Puerto Rican. As I said, without them, we won't, we, we won't survive. Give them a shout out, man. Tell them about the Puerto Ricans yeah. out there, man. Como esta, papi? <laughs> <laughs> Again, shout out to Ken one time, the owner. What do you think? Ken, mix right in. Yeah, Ken, Ken uh... Mix it right in. I got my cousin right here. Say what's up, man. What's up, baby? Ivan right here, my golf on the, partner. On the best channel. Yeah, I appreciate and even, it. A, even better golfer. If you if you golf and you're in Philly, man, hit him up. Yeah, well, I'm, I, I want to take it there, but ooh. today we go. Ooh, look at that. Hold on. Show show the people. So that's the General So Chicken. So we got everything on there too. Got rice. It got a nice color to it. So yeah, that looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. I see. Hey, that's sesame right there. Sesame right here. That's the sesame. So you can have everything in your rice. You got pork in there, shrimp, what else? Everything's reasonably priced too. The general soul chicken right here. I got the pork, I got the ham, and I got the shrimp in here too. This right here. Let's see what this one is about. This might be the fried chicken. Ooh, that looks amazing. Tell me that will look amazing, y'all. Fried chicken platter. Oh my That's god, really the pepper steak, yo. I, I saw this online. This thing looked good. Pepper steak. Good god, look at that. Oh, this shrimp lo mein. This is for the wife. She's the one of shrimp lo mein. One time for the one time. Ooh. I got to, let me just, I gotta put this all together real quick. Hold on. All this is catered to like the Puerto Rican palate. So everything, the rice, the proteins. Um, the vibes. I mean, you got you got a Buddha statue. You got merengue playing too. Got the egg roll here. How's the egg roll? New York, East Coast, almost there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, kind of hot. Egg roll good. What you about to see is a lot. I'm not gonna eat all this though. This is the picture people want. Ooh. Pepper steak, baby. This is definitely a, a different type of pepper steak. Can y'all see it? I'm actually curious about the rice, too. Again, Palacio Chino here at uh, Orlando. Mm. Good? No. Mm. Saucy. But like a good difference. The beef is tender. 
But I like how, I like the sauciness on it though. Mm. Well. You got a taste of it. Got a lot going on here. We'll try some of this tostones. Bro, well, try that out. Bro. Well, try that out. It's so thin. From a takeout, good too. this sauce is real good. Mm -hmm. I heard a hot chili oil, but garlic oil like that on this tostones, fire. Um, the, the first time I had a uh, Latin fusion let, let, was in New York. Hit the pe pepper stick bomb. Try, try this out, bro. Sauce is really good. It mixes in great with the onions and the peppers. Yeah, it's like it's like giving me like gravy action right now. Mm -hmm. So the sauce is like a gravy mixed in with the rice. It's not salty either. It's like right on point. Yeah. Smash that really thin. Y'all probably recognize Ivan. He was in one of my videos because he he uh he used to own a, a spot. You want me to plug it in or no? Good. What's that place called again? Cafe. Cafe Pinar. Cafe Pinar. Is a very necessary fusion. Mm. Let's try the uh, smells amazing. Get some lo mein, bro. Smells amazing. Got that wok flavor. Yesterday we cheered with Diet Coke, today we cheered with some lo mein. <laughs> How we doing it? There we go, cheers. Mm. Tastes like good Chinese takeout to me. Mm -hmm. Good. Now I read my comments too. Some of y'all don't be liking like you know the, the Chinese from up north. It's different. It's definitely different. And I tell you why it's different because you're so used to eating Chinese from from where you're from, and your your taste buds develop a flavor, and that's fine. This isn't too far from it, and this is definitely um. Puerto Rican Chinese. Is it me? But I think lo mein is a side. I don't have that as like my, rice to me is like what I eat with my protein. Then I have a side of lo mein too. Let me know if you think lo mein is a side. I think it is. I agree with a I think smaller it should, portion. It should always be with your plate. You know what I mean? See what I mean? Look, the rice, you got the pork in here. The ham and the shrimp. Now you can opt out for it. It looks beautiful though. Got some eggs in there too. Got some eggs. Oh, that's right. Some eggs in there too. General soap chicken. Let's see. Mm. You know what's funny that he mentioned? Yeah. That they don't they don't like the rice with the veggies. Right. I like veggies. And part of me misses it, yeah. like in the rice. It's still good, but I just like the crunchiness of the onions and the stuff. I'm pro onions and everything. But, I mean, that's what the people here, you gotta give them what they want. It's like, why buy onions when it, your customer's not gonna consume it, so. Yeah, exactly. This is good. I like how the sauce is not runny, it's sticky. Y'all know me, when I go to a Chinese spot, I always gotta taste the General Tso chicken. This is really good. That means they cook, the, when they when they get done frying the chicken, they cook the chicken in the sauce for it to stick. Y'all see it? The best to me so far is still Mr. Chen's in Camden and Kum Kao in Brooklyn. But this is actually really good too. Chinese takeout, it's mandatory that I have Ketchup and hot sauce. Sriracha. I 
I'm gonna respect that. I'm gonna respect the culture. I'm gonna do some of that garlic oil though. Just like that. This is the thigh. This looks like it's fried extra hard too. Hey bro, you want? Take one. This looks extra crunchy. That's amazing. Bro, try with the garlic sauce, bro. That sriracha kind of different. The only thing that's missing though, because we from up north, it's the vegetables and the fried rice. Like, I need bean sprouts in there. Any onions in there? Me too. That's my favorite even, part of even, rice. Yeah, I don't even mind peas. Me neither. But that's the only thing. That's my so, favorite part about the rice. I didn't know uh, Puerto Ricans. Well, Puerto Ricans down here didn't like the, the vegetables. Mm -hmm. How y'all feel about it? Y'all like vegetables and y'all fried rice? I do. We do. I feel like that's what makes the fried rice. But it's reasonably priced, yo. This platter right here was ten, like less than ten dollars. During dinner time. This is a Monday. I honestly feel like two people can eat from this too. It's like it's two a people. reasonable portion. What do we get? Four platters? Okay, so four platters, two drinks, three egg rolls, 65. Sounds money to me. I'm gonna go back for that pepper steak. That pepper steak with all that. Ken, very good guy, personable. Uh, speaks Spanish and English, so. He said, he said he speaks Vietnamese and Chinese too. I don't know, is it Malaysian or can or not Malaysian? Is it a uh, Cantonese or is it a uh, what's the other one? You probably don't even know. You you really don't say speak Chinese. It's actually it's either Cantonese or Mandarin. 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 That's what it is. I'd say it's is a good joint, affordable, lots of food. Uh, my favorite is the pepper steak, the lo mein, the generous old chicken, and the fried chicken. In that order. But just because it's last don't mean it's bad. It just means that that's what I prefer. I like the savoriness of the pepper steak and the, the tenderness of it. Again, I'll reiterate it. The rice, you probably can request the fried onions. We didn't do it. I just wanted the, the local way. But um, good joint. Come check them out. Palacio Chino. Say hi to Ken. Tell him, tell him I sent you, all right? We out of here. Say what's up, cuz. We out of here. We out of here. Um, Look for him on the tour. He's aiming for the, the tour, PGA tour. Look for his face. First Dominican on the tour. There you go. See you in the next episode. Peace.